I think uh, the board of Olam deserves our heartfelt commendation and gratitude for, for giving us several reasons to be hopeful and to celebrate through the seeds of, of the future program, uh, Olam has invested in two important types of seed. First, the seeds you are planting by investing in the education of our young people through the Education Grant Initiative for undergraduates. The second is, of course, the very highly successful award-winning Wheat Seeds uh, trial project which I'm told achieved its first year milestone of producing 10 kilograms of pre-multiplication wheat seeds varieties and was showcased at the UN General uh, Assembly at the Climate Summit and nominated for an international grant. But I think it's the seeds that you plant by investing in the whole of our agricultural value chain from research to people, especially disadvantaged women, that has attracted even greater attention, leading to the National Productivity Order of Merit Award, which was presented to Ola Magri by the, federal, by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari. The planting of these seeds show your strong belief in the future of our country and its innovative and hardworking people, and how it is that the story of our country will ultimately yield fruits of prosperity peace and decent livelihoods for all. And really, the, uh, considering that uh, Olam started off in Nigeria uh, a few short years ago and has now grown to 60, 60 different countries, I think it's evidence that, uh, that Nigerian soil is very fertile indeed. And also that the seeds that uh, are planted here are very prolific. If they're, if they're already in 60 different countries. I do not think that there is any business that so poignantly demonstrates the importance of faith, patience, resilience, and hope as agriculture does. Planting seeds, tending them until they create food, wealth, and sound health for all. So it's an absolute pleasure to see how these important attributes now form the values for the seeds of the future, or seeds for the future foundation. And this seeds for the future foundation exposes these same values through its various interventions. Very well done indeed. Before I end, let me again commend uh, Ola Magri for the very hard work and commitment to agriculture and food processing in Nigeria, especially as we are told in the areas of wheat milling, rice farming, and milling, tomato farming, hatchery, soya beans processing, and your leadership in agricultural export, cocoa beans, cashew nuts, and uh, sesame, seeds. I th sesame seeds. I think that um, one of the very important things that we learn from the hard work that you put into, into agriculture and, and uh, uh, food processing is that this is really where the potential of our country lies, and this is really where the wealth of our country lies. Not just, in, not, not just in the extractive industry, but more in the uh, value chain, the agricultural value chain, and especially export of, you know, very, of uh, manufactured and um, processed goods. So I think that here we have a very strong advantage, and I think Olam has shown, and I'm told, uh, Adi was saying the moment ago, that out, aside from oil and gas, uh, Olam comes uh, close second in terms of exports, and that this is, uh, and I think that this is very commendable indeed. But I must not fail to commiserate with you over the monumental loss occasioned by the flooding of the Olam rice farm in Nasarawa State. This, you know, obviously is a huge loss, not just to Olam, but also a big blow to food security in our country, as the farm is one of the uh, single largest rice farms in the country. We as a government are obliged to work with you to restore that important agricultural resource. And I'm sure that as we engage, we will be able to find the opportunities and the ways by which we can assist in bringing uh, that resource back to, uh, to full service. Only yesterday, uh, the National Economic Council, which uh, I have the privilege of chairing, 
uh, agreed to constitute a special committee on flooding, especially as it relates to food security. So we're going to be uh, looking at all of the ways by which we can work with farms and uh, farming uh, companies and agricultural companies and how they are affected by flooding. So I think that um, the Olam situation is one that will come, uh, that will certainly come before us and we'll have to consider how exactly, not just to support now, but to prevent uh, these sorts of occurrences in the future. And we, of course, have to advise the president on what steps to take. So congratulations to you all on this landmark uh, events of the launching of the Seeds for the Future Foundation, building a brighter future together. Thank you very much. God bless.